Ja. Mijn naam is Petra en ik ben hier vandaag uh, om mijn haar te laten doen. Uh, iets pittiger kapsels, wat korter en uh, het liefst in de kleur rond. Oké. Okay. Petra wants a short, yeah, strong hairstyle in pink colors. And that's why she's here to model for me. First time modeling. Petra, I will you want you to try where you turn around so they can see your hair. And it is already shot. <laughs> it can be shorter. Thank you. Okay. Friends on YouTube can do Petra's hair. And she is the first time modeling for me. I found some models on Facebook. Not a few, but a lot. <laughs> but not everybody can be a model. It's always a problem. And then I would spend my whole lifetime doing only models. <laughs> to get in the mood of the pink colors. I start with the pink cape. Of course, I start with protection. Now she has a lovely short hairstyle. Gonna make it uh, shorter on the sides. Gonna bleach it so it is a wonderful light. And then give it a wonderful pink color. Wet it a bit because she has some products in the hair. And do this with a conditioner based product. Watch the lines of the flow of the, the hair. I can see to, till I get on the front of the ear, the hairs go to the front. After that, they go to the back. So I have to take care of that. Starting with uh, scissor overcome on the upper lines. One don't want to make a boy hairstyle because I love it when it's a bit feminine. And the uh, sides, of course, will be ultra short. Scissor overcome. Lift the hairs up and go gently up. And always travel in the opposite lines. Dan krijg je voor het eerst van je leven ook helemaal te horen wat ze aan doen zijn met je kapsel. Ja, precies. Normaal hoor je dat niet. Nee, 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 wordt niet uitgelegd. Nee. Het is ook wel leuk. Ja, het is wel grappig, ja. ja. Normaal denk je dat misschien als kapper natuurlijk wel. Ja. Maar dat... Nou, je denkt, voor mij denk je het niet. Het is automatisme. Talk about in Dutch about the explaining of what I'm doing when I do the hairs. And uh, normally a customer never hears what a hairdresser does as techniques. But when you talk about it, you also learn yourself of, of what you're doing because you are yeah, thinking about what you're doing. So you get near to the things you do. And that's where you learn of it. Travel in the opposite lines, what I already told you. And working it up. Then coming on the ears. And now I start to give it a bending to the back. First I travel to the front to lean against the hair fall because here it's going like a wave down. So I push the hairs straight up and then travel in the flow of the hairs to the upper hair. Kort hebben we iets wat met hele grote dingen aan het schuiven is. Ik weet niet wat het is voor bedrijf, maar ik vind het wel leuk geluid. <laughs> het lijkt op een trein. Vind je niet? Ja. Het is een beetje een trein Ja, het heeft wel een, ja. En dan kom behind the ear. Behind the ear, all the hairs flow to the center of her neckline. So I know that. So I go in in the same line as the eyebrow lines. Start in the upper hair. Give him the first length. Guiding my sisal with my comb. And especially because I love the feminine lines of it. When you go ultra short, I also love to do it scissor of comb because it gives much softer lines. A more feminine feeling. Het is grappig dat jij het knipt en niet scheert. 
Ja, maar ik wil, wat ik net vertelde, ik wil ja. die zachte lijn hebben. Ja, precies. Dus ik wil, want bij jou is dat heel vlug mannelijk. En dat is op zich niet erg, maar <laughs> ik vind het mooier als dat vrouwelijker is. Ja, dat snap ik. Want je wil ook een mooie vrouw, dus dan vind ik dat vrouwelijke mag je ook wel zien. En dat heeft natuurlijk meer karakter, het is iets meer werk. Mm -hmm. Maar het is veel zachter, gewoon veel, veel meer technisch. Yeah. Now going into the crown area. I don't take off much of that because it's already ultra short, but the dry ends I take off. You see how wonderful soft the lines are. With the fine part of my comb, I take the lines. They are near to the contour. But the way of working stays the same. Where the hair grows up, I go down with my comb. Now you see how wonderful the, the shapes are. Because she has a wonderful skull for short hair. Coming on the center, mostly you see the hair is going straight down. In her case, that's the same. So here I have to travel up, straight up. And on the skull bone, my comb is changing from position on to the skull bone. It lays flat, and then on the skull bone, I lift the, sis, the comb up and to create the rounding I need over the skull bone. Maar het is ook wel heel. Ik vind dat ik er zelf altijd mooier vind, is zo werken, is de, de vriendelijkheid die het heeft. Ja, maar dat is natuurlijk echt het. Ambacht. Ja, precies. Ja. Want anders is het natuurlijk wat meer. Ja, het is gewoon machinaal. Ja. Opzetkammetjes vaak. Ja, precies. Gebruik ik nooit. Standje 2 of standje 3. <laughs> ja. ja, toch? Gebruik ik nooit. <laughs> echt niet. Ik gebruik altijd kam. Ja, dat is wel mooi. Ja. Je kunt veel meer rekening houden met de val van je, van je, je haar en zo. Mm -hmm. Ja, wat je zegt met de vorm van je, van je hoofd. Ja. Yeah. Now you see when I come over the center, I also adjust the way I hold my comb, because now I need to get in the same flow, but then in the opposite line of that until. It's how wonderful it is. It's Ultra soft of lines. Zijn er filmpjes die echt uitspringen waarvan je echt niet ja, hebt? Ja, zeker, maar dan weet je nooit waarom. Nee. Maar je hebt niet een bepaalde. dat je zegt van met lang haar heb ik meer hits dan met Nee, nee, nee. Het is maar net waar je terecht komt, nee. in welke bak. Mm -hmm. Als je in een lijn komt waar veel mensen, zeg maar, gewone mensen kijken. Mm -hmm. Dus een, ik noem het altijd een story privé bakken. Als ze daarin gaan delen, dan, dan kom je met heel veel commentaar. Negatief en positief. Ja, ja. Ja, maar ik ben zelf een negatieve dingen. Ja. Ja, dat is een beetje raar. Talking about uh, how you... Um, how the, the response is on videos on YouTube. Um, normally it's uh, just going, but uh, there are always videos that come into um, places where a lot of people think something of it and then have uh, negative or positive reactions on that. But me, it doesn't matter. As long as the model is not hurt, it doesn't matter what you tell about me, because I love to do this, I love to share it. And I know there's a lot of people uh, watching my videos who also love to watch them. So I thank you for that and also for the 100,000 mm -hmm. subscribers at the moment and even more. I will make a video for them in uh, a short time to show my appreciations. In the meantime, I come to the back of her ear again. I'll watch at the lines. They're all so similar to the other side, of course. Starting in the underline by just watching how the hair falls. So first, I want to know that so I can see nearer to the skin. Then go to the upper line, connect it. 
I'm working with a five and a half of Kiona. And it's a straight classic scissor because I love when I have to do come of scissor, straight scissors, they give a real strong uh, feeling about doing hair. When you get creative scissors with the bending, it's much harder to find the real straight lines. Scissors have emotions. Travel down again. Coming again in the underlines. The contour I can do with the clipper, but then only with the small one. Can you see I travel up in the opposite lines, pulling on the hairs to get them straight, especially with the holy bone. There I need to get the flow into the lines. Now I'm ready on the roundings, now I need only to clean the contours. The contour. Take the air to the back and only take minor parts because otherwise I take away the scissor of comb feeling. I don't want that to happen. Hold all the lines nice, soft and flowing. This small clipper is of Kiona and comes with uh, two blades. It works for uh, 290 minutes. Don't force on the skin. Creates the shape of the neckline. Now she has a wonderful natural shape in it. Same, of course, you do on the other side. Can be aware that you don't take too much off because you get lost of the way of cutting with scissor of comb. Just gently take the underlines. So for so far the contour, and I can go to the upper hair. Okay, coming to the upper hair, I took. Uh, this wonderful scissor I have on the back. There it is, this scissor. Lay the hairs down, go in the opposite lines, and take off only the dry ends. And make sure to work in the round because it needs to be in a round shape. And the larger the comb is, that's the more stable the lines are. Travel over the crown area. Ja, heel mooi. 
Yeah. Talking about the sound of this scissor. This is a scissor specially developed for men's hairstyles, hairdressers for men's hair. It has a feeling, a strong feeling. It's a strong scissor. Of course, you may cut hair with it when you're a woman, or that doesn't matter because when you love it, you love it. But it's certainly made for uh, barber shops to get the old way of doing hair into a scissor. The sounds that comes with a hairdresser's salon or a barber shop. In the center, I leave the hair a little bit longer. Connected to the back. Do this also in the rounding. Play with the hair. Lay it from one side to the other. Just give it the line. You can see the skyline of the hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> That would be something. Hair as a skyline. Now you have just have to watch the outer lights. Now this was one time ultra shot, I'm certain of that. So I give it a running to the front. To get, then I can lay it in a line, so I make sure that this line gets a curve. Do a little bit. So go in, go out there, and then travel up to the upper hair. So then I'm certain that I have a nice flowing line, no hard lines in it. From this side I travel back to the other side so I get a cross control and then I'm certain that I've got, got all the hairs. I can make her bleach. Put on the protection for coloring, my world famous plastic foil, of course. Made a curly bleach, I'll show you a photo into the video. Just applying it all over her hair. Put in a plaque system and I used the blue bleach. Used it with the 30 volume. And just apply on her head. Now I've got all the bleach on her hair. So now I cover this up, lay a card wig around it, and wait for 50 minutes to control it. I'm going to show you, of course, how it became. <laughs> also, awesome space between the plastic foil, so it's not overheating, just have a natural, same environment of uh, temperature. After 20 minutes we rinse it out, condition of the hair is still wonderful, dried it a bit. So now I'm going to use uh, a toner conditioner of Keune. Place it into a bowl and apply it on dry hair. This I leave in for 50 minutes, then I rinse it out. And then I'm going to show you the styling. This product smells ultra delicious. It's a bit fruit uh, smell. And it nurses the hair, of course. Now comb this product through the hair. Lay it a bit open. Still, the spell is wonderful. <laughs> Gonna clean the contour a bit and just wait for 50 minutes and then rinse it out and we'll be back. <laughs> Hello, we're back. <laughs> it's 
still very, very wet. Uh, use uh, a product for curled hair. This I do because uh, bleached hair uh, is similar to curled hair because it's always dry. So when you have curly hair, you always need to nurse them by moist, and that's why I f first put this in. It's a fluid of uh, Keunen. Big banter is in town. Yes. Maakt de wereld ook wat vrolijker, hè? Ja, zeker. Maar dat saai haar. Ja. En zeker als je kort haar hebt, dan is het zo leuk om gewoon iets te doen ermee. Ja. Ja, dat is het. For sofa blow drying. Now use two products uh, together, power paste and uh, jelly wax. Both are from Keunen. Power paste, just this. And the jelly wax, about that two times. Jelly paste makes it more easy to style the hair, and the power paste gives it the strongest it needs to have. By wiggling the hairs, you get different shades of pink in the hair. So this is my pink panther hairstyle. <laughs> nice. I ask her to turn around so you can see it one more. It's a nice slow turn. <laughs> and thank you for modeling. Thanks. Ik weet graag geeft Theo de rechten om een filmpje te gebruiken op Facebook en YouTube. Ja, dankjewel. Okay.